Hi, this is to answer a question from Andy Wilson. Thank you for your question, which was, what is the most difficult obstacle that we face when we're searching underwater? Um, that's a very difficult question to answer. Uh, the, the best way to probably do it is to separate between rivers and lakes, which are basically our two main search areas, um, two very different types of waters. With the, the lakes, I would say our main obstacle is the depth. Um, our, our sonar system is surface mounted on the boat. So the deeper we go, the smaller the object on the sonar. So if for a person, for example, uh, if we're starting to get over 50 meters, we're starting to struggle to, to see the person because the object on the screen is going to be so small. Um, for a car, we can scan deeper. For a boat, even deeper. If we were looking for a jumbo jet, we could scan as deep as the system would allow us, which is 330 meters. We can scan to 330 meters um, and also in, in, in depth and width but obviously that the wider we scan the smaller the object is on our is on our screen um in rivers the depth isn't usually an issue i'd say the 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 most difficult obstacle is the flow of the river um if there's any kind of high flow in the river where we can't scan properly then that we we struggle then uh, we we have a uh, certain parameters that are best for sonar scanning so anywhere between 1.5 and 3 mile an hour is what we want to go at um obviously a river flow then can cause uh issues with that um depth if we get to too shallow waters for the the sonar and the motor to operate we, we can't operate the sonar then. We're almost pretty much just following the river current. Um, and then we have the, the obstacles such as reeds, trees, things like that uh, in, in all conditions. But I'd say the most difficult obstacles that we face are in lakes, the depth, and in river, the, the flow. Thank you.